Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mr. Church, Westwood Middle School Math. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to show you today um, a little bit of art, a little bit of math. Uh, if you've been in my class, you know I'm a, not a very good artist, but geometric constructions, whole different level. I'm going to teach you today how to do the Wheel of Theodorus. comes out like that. Pretty sweet. It's just a series of right angle triangles, and there's some math behind it too that I'm going to show you as well. So. All you need to do this project, a piece of paper, a pencil, a straight edge, and a second piece of paper, that's all you need. So what we're gonna do to get started is we're gonna make our first triangle, and all you need to do is to put a dot in the very center of your page. Once you have that dot, you're going to make a one inch leg from that center point. And that just started like that. Then to get a 90 degree angle, all you do is use your second piece of paper. This is the easiest way I found to do it, is you just match it up right against that line. And then you take your straight edge and you're going to make another one inch line connecting that. I would do it in pencil, so in case you do mess up, you can always go back over it. So there's your 90 degree angle one inch, one inch. Now all you need to do is connect those two. So the math behind this now, you've got a right angle triangle, leg, leg, and a hypotenuse. This leg's one inch, this leg's one inch. Now for our second triangle, we're going to start with this hypotenuse, which is gonna become this is gonna become the leg of our second triangle. So the outside of the wheel must always be one inch. So I'm gonna take my paper, now I'm gonna make a right angle here. So I just match it up against the hypotenuse of the first triangle, and then I construct my one inch line. So again, this is one inch, and now all I do is I connect those two legs with my center point. And now you can, you can see here, I've got a right angle right here, triangle one, and a right angle right here, triangle two. And you just keep going out from that point, just making sure that your outside edge of your wheel is always one inch in length. So I'll make one more for you just so you can see that. So again, I take my paper, match it up. It helps if the papers are two different colors so you can kind of see where you're at. So there's your 90. Straight edge. One inch. And then connect. And there's your third right angle triangle. And you can see how it starts to spiral out. And there it is again. That's your third right angle triangle right there. So it'll keep spiraling out. And that's where you get this kind of effect right here. So I was able to do about 16. You can do more. You can put a 17 triangle in, but you can see you get a little bit of overlap, but that's not a big deal. Now from here, uh, I am certainly not as good as Mr. Meikle or Mr. Rainey or any of our other fantastic art teachers in the district, but you and they can probably come up with all kinds of different ways to make this artistic. Maybe a Nautilus shell, uh, maybe a ram's horn. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. So turn it into art for your refrigerator. Your parents, your grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle will love to see it. It's going to be beautiful. So you'll take it from here and make it really beautiful. Now there is some math behind this, so if you look at it, we know that if we have a right angle triangle, we have Pythagorean theorem, which is grade eight, we just got done with Pythagorean theorem, and that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Leg squared plus leg squared equals the longest side squared. So the math behind this, is you can see the first triangle, the legs are both one inch. I'm dealing with this one right there, one inch, one inch. So one squared plus one squared equals c squared. 
one plus one is two. So the first triangle's hypotenuse is the square root of two. Now the second triangle, since that hypotenuse now becomes a leg, our other outside leg is still one inch. So anytime you square a square root, you get the number that's under the symbol. So this is the square root of two squared is two, and this one squared is one, two plus one is three. So the second hypotenuse is the square root of three. And subsequently, if you go up, the third triangle, the hypotenuse is two inches. The fourth triangle is the square root of five. So it goes sequentially, square root of two, three, four, five, all the way up from there till you get to the outside of your wheel of Theodorus. I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, be safe. Uh, I hope you, I wish you good health and take care and I'll see you guys again soon.